This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back. This video is on atmospheric science. It is on atmospheric stability and what is stability in the atmosphere? How do we quantify it? How do we analyze it? And why is it so important when looking at our troposphere? How the air functions with water vapor creating our water cycle and cloud formation, condensation, evaporation, and looking at where the clouds will form and if air is going to rise or if air is going to sink. Our atmosphere is a complex, very large system of fluid dynamics of gas, water vapor, and water and other elements flowing around the outside of our Earth, held by gravity, and is continuously moving and changing every single second in every part of the world. It is not stable, it is perfectly dynamic, and to understand how this system works, we've got to understand what's called stability and what air is doing. Is it gonna rise? Is it gonna stay in one place for a short time? Is it going to sink? And what, these, what this means for the conditions in the atmosphere and whether it will cause any kind of weather or be blue skies or what kind of clouds are formed and if it's going to be some sort of precip in the near future. So weather forecasting and travel like airplanes and hot air balloons is all related to stability of the atmosphere. So when looking at the stability of the atmosphere, we're looking at the air parcel. What's the air parcel going to do? Is it going to rise? Is it going to sink? It will stay at the same altitude and this is based on the heating and cooling of the atmosphere. So we measure the air temperature at a certain altitude. These are consistent in certain areas of the Earth. So we're discussing the adiabatic heating and cooling. We're looking at the air parcels temperature at certain altitudes and how this relates to the environmental lapse rate. And there are three types of stability in the atmosphere. There is stable, unstable, and neutral. Now, the air parcel can go through different phases where it can be stable and then become neutral or even become unstable based on different conditions. Now, this diagram is showing you a very, very basic understanding of these terms. So the top diagram, which is stable, it shows how the air parcel in the atmosphere namely the troposphere, is going to stay at the same altitude. It will try and move, but it's kind of stopped or even sink down to a lower altitude based on conditions. So stable is where you'll have a, either sinking or you'll have a continuously the same altitude of the air parcel. Compared to unstable, where this air parcel is likely to be pushed out of the altitude and forced to accelerate to a higher or increased altitude due to, for example, the addition of thermal energy and hot air is gonna rise. So this, this air parcel will become unstable when it is forced to rise up through addition of heat or forced to rise through addition of a cold air mass and it's forced to rise up higher. So this air parcel will accelerate up and decrease in temperature as it increases with altitude. And this also looks at strong addition of thermal energy or a lot of thermal energy added. Then we have neutral. Neutral is rare in the atmosphere to have a consistently neutral air parcel. However, it is a point that's in between stable and unstable where this a conditional situation based on a short time of the air mass or the air parcel not being stable or sinking and not being unstable and rising. So this diagram looks at the combination of this atmospheric stability with the, the environmental lapse rate. Now in this diagram, again, I've gone a one kilometer or 1000 meter altitude on the Y axis. On the X axis, we have our temperature in degrees Celsius. So I had this black line, diagonal black line, showing the ELR. Now I haven't put any numbers on the bottom, which basically means that this, this is a generic lapse rate for the environment. And the air parcel, which is going to be a different temperature in theory to the ELR. Now, if it's the same temperature, it would just be moving higher in altitude and decreasing at a, the same lapse rate as the ELR. That would be a neutral environment or atmosphere. However, if the air parcel is of a different 
temperature and lapse rate. So it would start at the same temperature as the ELR at the surface. However, because it will, it's a faster or slower lapse rate, it would either cool down faster or it will cool down slower than the ELR. For example, if the air parcel was to cool down slower than the ELR, it would fall on the right hand side and this would be classified as unstable because the air is still warmer in the air parcel at a certain altitude compared to the ELR or the air around the air parcel. On the other hand, if the air parcel was to decrease quicker or have a faster lapse rate than the ELR, then the air parcel would become stable and would not be able to rise and even sink to a point and have and create a stable atmosphere. And that would dictate the kind of cloud formation you get if you have cloud formation, if you have low or high pressure versus an unstable atmosphere, you would have that vertical air movement. You would have that level of free convection, which would then stimulate cloud formation, large cloud formation, and even have different kinds of frontal systems like a cold front, and that would induce certain cloud types as well and precip. So the ELR with the air parcel stability and the air parcel lapse rate would dictate where the atmosphere would be unstable or stable or neutral. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, check out more videos on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again.